Yo guys, today I'm going to be explaining everything you need to know about your belt inside of the broken. Let's get on to the video. To start things off, bells are essentially an extra mantra for your kit. They consist of unique abilities, whether it be one that does damage, boosts your stats, or be practical for transportation. There are two types of bells you can obtain, either common or a legendary one. However, a corrupted variant of a bow can be rolled, boosting its effectiveness while also giving it a flaw. The flaw can consist of depleting your character's sanity, setting yourself ablaze, or being poisoned. All bows have their respective corrupted variant, with the exception of legendary bows being referred to as drowned instead of corrupted. Although they function identically to corrupted bows, the current obtainable common bows in game are Blood Scourge, Crazy Slots, Gravity Field, Jar of Souls, Payback, Portals, Preservation, Resurrection, Run It Back, Sacred Field, Shard Bow, Smite, Smokescreen, and Wind Up. The current obtainable legendary bows are Teleportation and Dimensional Travel. In order to obtain your bow, you should first speak with an NPC named Sebex, located at the Star Swept Valley. Bringing him a Thresher Spine will inform you on which will be the fastest path to take in order to receive your bow. The first dialogue shown indicates that you have the boss progression path. If Sebex tells you this dialogue, the bosses recommended going from least to most bow progression are Nautilodons, Blizzard Knights, Ferrymen, the Dread Serpent, the Duke, Chaser, Primadon, and the Scion of Etheron. Now, it's important to note that fighting these bosses solo grants more bow progression, as the more damage you do benefits you with more bow progress. The second dialogue displayed indicates that you have the Depths Path. In order to progress with this path, it's recommended to either kill players or corrupted monsters and enemies unique to the Depths. Enemies unique to the Depths which grant bow progress without the need of being corrupted are Gigabeds, Crustaceous Rex, the Enforcer, and Nautilodons. On the other hand, in order to receive bow progress from killing players within the depths, it is important to ensure that they are around your level as those significantly lower will not grant any bow progress. As for this dialogue, those who have it have the PvP path. In order to progress your bow with this path, it is strongly recommended to use the Charm of Conflict as progress can only be obtained from those around your level. With this path, the Charm of Conflict is heavily used as the game match makes you with another player without the need of having to hunt down someone. Finally, those who have this dialogue from Zephex have worthy regalia, meaning you have all paths to your favor. Killing bosses, monsters within the depths, and players will all prove beneficial to you with this path. With this path, your belt becomes insanely easy to get. The image shown here explains how close you are to achieving your belt based on what Zephex says after you ask him to listen to your soul. Feel free to pause the video if necessary. Once you're sure that you've maxed out the progression for your bow, the next step you will want to take is to go down to the depths. In order to check if you have received your bow, you will need to get knocked within the depths. This is very risky as you could potentially get wiped if you don't receive your bow. However, getting a friend is often recommended as they will be able to knock you without the risk of you getting wiped. Now, if you have no friends, your best bow will be able to either be sent down to layer 2 with a light hook and knock yourself there on purpose, or you can find a cliff in the depths with no mobs nearby and repeatedly jump off until you die of fall damage. Once you've obtained your bow, upon death, an aura will surround your character and the game will give you a hand of cards to choose from. Whichever card that is chosen will be the bow that you receive. At last, if you ever feel unhappy with the bow you received, you are always able to reroll it with the use of a young troll wish. Upon receiving a bow, you are granted a free young troll wish. However, if you've already used the wish and are still unhappy with your bow, you can always form bosses in order to get a relic called the Idol of Yun Shul. The Idol of Yun Shul acts as a Yun Shul wish that can be used from anywhere. Additionally, another way to get a Yun Shul wish is through the use of interacting with miserables in New Kyrza of the Sleeping City, which is located in Lair 2 Floor 2. Note that he will only grant this wish for 5 Kyrzan medallions or 5 knowledge. If you do not have either of these, then he will wipe you. And with all that information, good luck in getting your next bow.